What's going on guys? Panda here and welcome back to the Hidden Panda Show. Today we're going to talk about a couple of different things. Uh, and the first thing that I want to talk about is Thunder Humping Turtle Duck Interloper. For you guys that have been following the channel for a while, you know exactly who that is. You recognize the name from stream chats and things like that. And he released a video the other day uh, that was discussing his battle with anxiety and depression, how No Man's Sky has helped him to manage his mental illness. And almost every one of us is touched by or directly suffers with mental illness. My sister-in-law has bipolar disorder. My wife suffers from anxiety. And uh, I know the toll personally that this can take on the individual and the loved ones surrounding them. And I just want to thank Thunder for sharing this with the community. And a link to his video will also be in the description box down below. Make sure you click on that link and don't forget to like and subscribe to it and show your support. One of the things that struck me in his video was that he continued to refer to No Man's Sky as an experience and an escape, something I've been on record stating as well, and I think it's important that we acknowledge that. No Man's Sky is many things for many people, least of them a game. Some people lose themselves in its loneliness and vast emptiness. Some people find a sort of therapy in its ambience and atmospheric soundscape. And for many people, it's a place to meet friends and make friends, go on research missions, and set out to solve the galaxy's mysteries. This game has a much deeper meaning for many people, and Thunder showed us an example of that, and I hope that No Man's Sky has touched many of us in a positive way. Um, and again, Th Thunder, thank you for sharing that with the community. Um, also, I want to talk about the Game Awards last night, the Video Game Awards. So obviously, No Man's Sky did not win uh, for you know the best ongoing game category but they did win in another major way. The fact that they were even in that category with the likes of Destiny 2 and Fortnite shows that the game is being taken seriously, that they're not afraid to talk about No Man's Sky and put it in the public eye. And the fact that it made that category is sort of the game industry admitting what Hello Games had to overcome to get No Man's Sky to the next level. And there's never been a better time to play No Man's Sky than right now. And for most of us already in the community, we've been experiencing that feeling time and time again with the original release and Foundations, Pathfinder, Atlas Rises Next, The Abyss, Visions. It's like we're constantly getting that feeling over and over and over and over. And then with the announcement last night also of another game that Hello Games is releasing, called The Last Campfire. And if you guys want to see that trailer, if you haven't already seen it yet, I'll have that down in the description box below as well. But it looks super compelling and it's absolutely beautiful. I love the art design of it. Um, and the song, I think, just sort of embodies perfectly the vibe and, and feeling that the game uh, is designed to evoke. And I'm really excited to play this title and I want to start covering it here on the channel as well. Um, it is another project from Hello Games, and uh, I'm super, super excited. Uh, and then the last thing that I want to talk about today is basically, as you know, and many of you may not know, but I'm a founder of the uh, Free Delta Initiative Hub. And uh, although the FDI Hub itself is independent, we do have civilizations that share our space. And those civilizations do a lot of great work for the FDI and build a lot of really great things. And so I'm excited to bring to the channel for the month of December our new hub highlight series. The FDI hub capital is located in the Astar region of the Delta Quadrant of the Euclid Galaxy. And our capital system is quickly becoming populated by many who seek to live free in the Delta. In the neighboring region, the No Man's Sky Cafe Amino civilization have their community nestled in the coffee region. And Lily Hop, one of the leaders of the NMS Cafe, is also a co-founder of the FDI. And lastly, we have Slade Braddock, a space pirate right down to the bone and a co-founder of the FDI, as well as leader of the Empire of Pirates and independent cartels. And they pillage and plunder in the Bone Sink region near Astara, as well as the surrounding areas. There are many other civilizations that are allied with or reside within our hub, such as the Galactic Commerce Collective ran by Quanta and the Avasar Cartel, and even the Alliance of Galactic Travelers have an embassy here. 
We are starting to flourish and to reward our members, I will be dropping several videos showcasing all we have to offer from our many residents who have built research outposts and lookouts to hotels, resorts, towns, and farms. And I'm really excited to bring this to the channel and showcase all the hard work that everyone has been putting into building our little corner of the galaxy. If you're interested in joining the FDI or any one of our partner civilizations, there will be a link in the description box down below, and we'd love to have you. We don't have any stupid rules, no naming guidelines, and we accept people interested in role playing, PvP, and any other way that you like to enjoy No Man's Sky, and we even have several groups dedicated to it. So I look forward to seeing you there. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you today. Thank you for stopping by the Hidden Panda Show. Don't forget to give a cuddly panda bear some love by clicking that like button. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll see you guys later on in the No Man's Sky universe. Panda, out.